How's everybody doing? All right. This video, like the thumbnail says, going over the PN2000. Let's see if I got it right there. You can see it right there. That's the box. This is it right here. This is an electrical usage monitor. Uh, most of you probably don't even, didn't know these existed. Um, big, because these are pretty big in, like, say, the solar or the self-generating power uh, industry because you need to know to properly, you know, gauge what kind of system you need for solar or anything like that, which I'm doing solar with the trailer and our next home is going to have solar. So uh, I got this basically to monitor like how much you, wattage I'm going to need for per outlet, you know, if I'm using stuff during the day. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it out in the trailer. I'm going to see how much my battery bank uh, or actually my uh, charging station draws to I have all the batteries hooked up right now. I'll show you here in a second. Um, they're all pretty much drained. So I want to see how much it takes to bring every battery up to full charge. That way I kind of have a, 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 a of idea of how big my battery bank needs to be. I have right now I have four deep cycle 115 amp hours a piece. Uh, they're lead acid batteries. So if you guys do the math, lead acid, the big fault with them is you can only use about half the amp hours because if you drop below half, uh, you can damage the battery permanently and there's no, there's no getting around it. So basically if you buy four uh, lead acid batteries, you really only have the usage of two because of if you want to make those, you know, the duty cycle and you want them to, want them to last. So we're gonna see what I need. Um, if I need to upgrade the battery bank, and uh, well, it's gonna be upgraded because I'm gonna be doing lithium ion, but I can always add a, a battery or two just, just to make sure I have enough uh, enough juice to get everything going. And like I said, I've been doing this, this trailer is two years old, so and this, this build's about a year old, and I've been doing just fine, absolutely just fine. But um, there's always room for improvement, so let's take a look. This is the PN2000. I don't have a link yet, but there will be in the description. Check the link in the description for the uh, where to buy it. It's about thirty bucks, give or take. Uh, and just in case this the you I mean, wants to know the usage the usage for this is less than one watt, and it's sixteen amp max. So you're not going to put this on a twenty amp circuit. It's um, it, well, you can, but you, sixteen amp max. So fifteen amp circuit, which is perfect for this trailer. And we're going to basically plug this baby in and see uh, how much uh, wattage and what amps my uh, my charging station draws. So let's get to it. All right, in the box, you get the user manual. Uh, you get the box and then you get a, looks like an eight inch uh, dongle, just so, you know, for situations like this where you can't plug it in. And you got the actual, obviously the tool itself. So for now, I got uh, all the batteries. These are all dead. Uh, well, you know, pretty close to dead, you know, one bat, one bar one bar um that's dead i think this has got one or two bars yeah two bars so like a real world you know i got everything on here um so it's going to draw right about i'm gonna have all the uh all the the chargers running simultaneously and we're going to see and i'll i'll stop this i'll take the battery off the charger once it's charged that way it's not running any fans maybe i'll just leave it on because that's how i usually i'm just going to leave them on because that's how i usually if i'm working i'm just going to throw them on there and it's just going to stay on there until i you know either end of day so that's what i'm going to do i'm just in a real world review i'm just going to leave them on there and then once everything's charged, then I'll basically look at, see what the uh, draw is and we'll go from there. So let's go turn the inverter on. Dun, 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 dun. We are on. So you basically plug it in. So you can see it's obviously zero. Let's plug the power strip in. Sorry for the camera angle. So 123, 219, 300, 307. So you can see, so let's bring it up. This is obviously what you need to know. So if you had an inverter that would say it was like a 500 watt inverter uh, running watts, you would not be able to run this charging system. You can hear all the fans kicking in. So this thing's pulling. Nine hundred, nine hundred watts. So you'd be a, a thousand watt inverter would be able to run this, but you wouldn't have any more. You wouldn't have any more room to grow because you're running everything. Let's go check. The battery is pretty. Like, the drawing at twelve point one three volts. That's with the load, so we'll, we'll settle for a little bit. But obviously, batteries are pretty drained. I don't let I don't let the battery bank get below 12 volts, so we might need to plug this uh, 
the bank into and get it actually charged. That way this test can keep going. But it's settling back down. All right, we'll come back and uh, basically uh, see what we're, uh, where our usage is for this entire thing. All right, boys and girls. Hey, this, the Hitachi Metabo charger is the slowest one, by the way. Like, everything else charged uh, probably, oh, and it's like probably 10 minutes or so fast, you know, been charged 10 minutes or so, and then this little three amp hour took forever. But let's look at it. All right, so this, this if you wanted to know, like 27 watts is what this thing draws when it's all running but charging not charging but just you know, on basically so let's go through them uh, still 20 hertz kilowatt hours 0.39 kilowatt hours that's that's very important right there so this has been about less than an hour probably about 40 minutes or so give or take maybe 30 minutes but uh, we're at it point, basically 0.4 kilowatt hours, 0.39 kilowatt hours to charge everything up with, you know, this is just a six amp hour at 20 volts, three amp hour at 60 volts. So if I put like a 12 amp hour battery, obviously it's gonna take longer because it's gonna draw more juice and it takes more energy to charge them up. But that's besides the point. So, <laughs> but that's basically, that's, that's the kilowatt hours is actually what I'm looking for because batteries, uh, they have a kilowatt hour, you know, ranking and you obviously that's if you don't have it you don't have it and again another another great one is the the watts that it was, it was pulling just just shy you know just over 900 watts when it was everything was charging so you know for sure that if you had anything uh, a thousand watt inverter would be sufficient but you're at your max capacity so very good i'm going to take these numbers down and uh just keep them in for my future reference but that's basically all there is for this all right, one last test I just want to show. So this is basically plugs right into the outlet. Now we can plug in the microwave here. We're gonna do the microwave. So it, it draws point, oh, half a watt just being plugged in. So that's, I mean, that's good to know if, you aren't, if you're keeping your stuff plugged in, it, it, you know, you got yourself half a watt. So we're gonna nuke my lunch, which is potatoes and a, uh, we'll take that out burnt cheese and a little turkey burger so right. we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this for two minutes oh 1300 watts it's drawing yeah 1300 watts so obviously you're going to need a 2000 uh, watt inverter, or at least a 1500 watt, but you definitely don't want to overload it. So this is about half of my capacity right now with my with my microwave. And I can, if you guys saw the last video, I can run the entire battery charging station um, and this at the same time because I have a 3000 watt inverter, although that's going to be my max. And then obviously my lights are all, tw all in 12 volts, so they're coming straight off the battery. So. I'll come back here. We got a minute and 15 and we will uh, see what the uh, usage for. All right, just stopped. Ooh, yeah, that's good enough, two minutes is good. So, obviously the light is what caused, the, in, when opening the door it brings on a light. So let's see here, we got lamps, holds, hurts. Boom, boom. So 0.43 kilowatt hours just for two minutes. So if you if you remember correctly, that's more than my entire bank uh, took just charging up one battery each. So two minutes of running this is almost uh, this is actually more than actually running that entire battery charging station for the entire duration of all these batteries here. So that gives you a little you know gives you a little bit of uh, reference on what it takes. Microwaves are really really thirsty, so. I uh, will say, this is actually I'm charging the battery, so we're not running off the battery right now. We're running off shore power uh, con connected to my DC batteries, basically. So keep in mind, that's just the usage for the microwave and the charging station. Um, I'm still losing from my inverter, converting it from 12 volts battery bank to 
you know 120 volts and obviously the inverter I believe is like um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna it's probably like 90% efficient so which I'll get a shunt I'll get a shunt I'll get some stuff to test that to see exactly what my uh, inverter is drawing and well, we can go from there as well but this is a great test good to know I thought this was only drawing a thousand watts it's good to know it's drawing 1300 so it's basically it guys like and subscribe this is a great tool to have I'm gonna be putting on the rest of the house just to see what I'm using on everything you know refrigerator can't put it on anything 240 or anything that's 20 amp but everything's 15 amp and below we're good to go so um, I'm gonna be basically seeing what I need to you know charge and how big of a reserve and how much output I'm gonna need throughout the day and if anybody wants to know all right so I just wanted to get my numbers right uh, so 0.4 watt hours yeah it's not that much but for microwaving two minutes worth of food it, it, it's, it's gonna add up especially if you're running on a battery bank so just as a comparison my house in the dead of summer like July August with all AC we, we have a an electric stove top and we obviously run fans all everything we use 36.5 kilowatt hours a day so that's 36,000 watt hours per day and that's obviously running a huge, you know, an air conditioning and everything like that. So that's that would be what I would need if I wanted to stay at the exact same, you know, comfort level and running all the appliances and everything completely just, you know, off grid and just with solar. I would need 36 or probably 37, 38. Who knows? Because of you know energy loss between converting everything from DC to AC, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, which you know, which I will figure out. So that's not what this video is about anyway. But that's just a comparison. So. Obviously, less you know, microwave your your meal. You know, get uh, all you know all your batteries charged up at one time, less than one watt hour. Obviously, now I'll keep in mind though, because that point that that point four watt hours, point three eight watt hours for charging the batteries, that energy is not all lost because I'm actually transferring it from AC to DC to charge the batteries. Have actually the the actual batteries are DC, so that energy is not technically all gone because I can still use my tools from it, but obviously transferring it from AC to DC does consume power. So not all that energy is lost, which is great. So just the energy that I'm using for the microwave is lost because I have a hot food now. So like and subscribe if you think I've earned it. This is uh, this is not going to be, um, this is not going to turn into a solar channel. I'll have a, another channel that I'll uh, post up. It's going to be all about, you know, prepping and solar and all the other hobbies that I have too as well. So. All that good stuff, but that's later on down the road. Like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Take it easy and enjoy.